Hi, John Burrell with Today in the Bible in June. We have people who write in to us every day almost, every week, every month, and they have questions that they've had for all their life, many of them. And so they are looking for answers, answers from the Bible. And so one of the questions we have this week is, uh, is an interesting one. Is it wrong to be involved in dousing, in water witching? What does the Bible say about this? Well, the first thing we need to understand is that we're not at war against flesh and blood. Nothing that has to do with the flesh at all. We're spiritual beings living in a physical body. It is written in Luke chapter 22, verse 31, where the Lord was speaking to the Lord to Simon, Peter, and he said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan has desired to have you that he may sift you as wheat. Now, the devil did the very same thing to Job. It's written in Job chapter 1, verses 6 and 7. Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan also came among them. And the Lord said unto Satan, From where have you come? And then Satan answered the Lord and said, From roaming about on the earth and walking around on it. And so this is what the devil's doing. He's going everywhere in the world seeking whom he may devour. Now, interesting, there was a, a friend of mine a while back where I was pastoring, and he invited me and my wife over to have dinner with him. And he was sharing, he was a young couple in their late 20s, I guess, and they're having marital problems. And after we had dinner, a lovely dinner, we sat down in the living room, and on his wall, I, uh, I saw a lot of artifacts. And I said, well, where'd you get all those? He said, oh, my mom took a vacation to Brazil, and she brought me back a bunch of souvenirs. And on the wall was a huge uh, set of beads. It looked like a rosary of some kind, a Roman Catholic rosary, and uh, some Indian fetishes, like from an Indian witch doctor. And I said, uh, so I just hung up there just to, just like ornaments or something like that. I said, did you know that uh, that could be the cause of your problems? And of course, he looked at me like with a weird look. He said, John, you're a little goofy, aren't you? I said, no, the Bible says that we're not to be ignorant of Satan's devices because we're not at war against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and uh, spiritual wickedness that lives in high places. And so he didn't uh, quite understand that. And he said, uh, well, I guess you're going to tell me that uh, witching is wrong. I said, what? You mean uh, like water well witching? He said, yes. I said, well, actually it is. He said, well, I'm one of the, I'm, I'm probably the best witcher in these whole, in all these parts. <laughs> I says, really? He says, yes. Uh, the ranchers and farmers call me all the time to go find some wells for them. I said, well, the Bible says, test the spirits to see whether they're of God or not. So the next time you go out and someone calls you out to find some water wells for them like that, just pray and ask God. A couple of weeks passed by and I was sitting in my, in my home on a Saturday morning and then it was come Saturday afternoon and I heard this big uh, <laughs> screeching and this car drove up in front of my house and he ran up the walkway and said, John, John. And I, oh, I opened the door, he came in. I said, how are you doing? He said, well, I went out to witch some wells today and I found some huge veins. He said, my arms almost shook off my, <laughs> my shoulders. Yeah, I found many wells, some very strong, some not so strong. And then we took a break for lunch. And as I was going to start to pray for, and thank God for my meal, as I usually do, I thought, you know, John, the Lord I was talking to that Pastor John the other day, and, and he told me that this was something that was not of God. He said, Lord, I'm, I serve you, I belong to you, and uh, I don't want to deliberately do something that's against you. And so, Lord, if, if this is not of you, I'm going to go back over the same wells that we that we struck water veins. And if it's not of you, Lord, don't let it work. But is if this is if this gift is from you, then uh, let it to work just like it did earlier in the day. He said, John, I went back out. The reed never moved at all. 
even the most, the, the, the biggest vein of water that I found that almost tore my arms off my shoulders, didn't move at all. I said, thank you, Lord. And I busted the reed and I had to come by to talk to you. Test the spirits. Do not be ignorant of Satan's devices. And so you see this everywhere we go. We're told uh, uh, in Ephesians chapter 6, for example, verse 11 and 12, that we're to put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Because we do not wrestle, we, we're not at war, we're not fighting against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and spiritual wickedness of the, and to, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. And this is what he wants us to know, that we're physical beings that live in a physical body. And so when we have arguments, when we have fights, when we have disputes, it's a spiritual battle. And he wants us to know this. And he instructs us very clearly in 1 John chapter 4, verse 1. Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but try the spirits, test them, as my friend did, to see whether they are of God, because there are many false prophets that are come into the world. This is what God wants us to do. And so this is a common practice. My father-in-law one time, he and his uh, son had uh, some oil leases and uh, they would drill oil wells. They had this uh, drilling machine that they did drill wells for other people, water wells and oil wells. And, and here in Oklahoma, the wells are not too deep. So it was about 1,500 to 3,000 feet at the, at the deepest. And so they had a few oil well leases that they had. And uh, this one man came to visit him one time and says, uh, he says, Mr. Smith, he, uh, I think I can help you and uh, make you a little money. He says, how's that? Well, on the leases you have over there, I, I know where there's a really good well that I could probably witch you a well and make you some money. He says, what? <laughs> and so he was gifted at witching oil wells to find where there's oil vein or oil, pull of oil beneath uh, the surface. And to my surprise and to my delight, he said, no, I don't want to take anything that comes from the devil. All my blessings and all my funds will come from the Lord Jesus Christ. And I don't believe the witching is something that has to do anything with God. That amazed me. I never thought he had grown spiritually that much but this is what he did. So again, test the spirits to see whether they are of God or not. Why? Because we're told in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8, just like it was in the book of Job, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, now the devil is never a friend. He's always your adversary, but he'll come as a friend, as a roaring lion, and he's going about seeking whom he may devour. And this is what he wants to do. Uh, he, he wants you to know that he's there wanting to get you. So again, pray to God, just like my friend did. If this is of you, do this. If it's not, do the other one. So remember, test the spirits to see whether of God or not, and he'll show you the way. God bless you seven times. Mm -hmm.